Welcome back. So today we have some mail from Madam Glam. They gave me the selection of polishes that they had um, that are 21 and HEMA free. Um, I was able to select three colors that I wanted to work with. Now, I chose these colors with not necessarily an idea in mind, but I knew that I wanted to do something that was more fall focused. So in the first package, I have my three polishes that I selected and my top and base coat. Here in the second box, I got my LED lamp, which came with the user manual, and I also have a user manual for my polishes. I'm one of those people that like to be prepared on the go, especially when it comes to my nails. So anytime I see that my LED lamp has one of those USB adapters on the, on the end, I love that. This lamp is also much bigger than I expected it to be. It's actually like a very decent size for a lamp that is on the mini side. All right, y'all, so here's my color selection. I wanna put out there that they did give me a 35% off coupon code. I'm gonna put the code to the left of the screen. So you get 35% off of your entire purchase. I'm gonna leave the link below to where once you click on that link and you start to order, that coupon code will be applied automatically. If you don't wish to be a VIP member, there will be an option there for you to just click pay as you go. Now I'm going to stop talking for a while and just let you watch the swatches. As I was recording this, I just remember like a lot of stories from when I was younger and started doing nails. I know that I had interest in doing nails from thinking as young as young as nine years old i'll tell those stories in like another video because some of them are pretty funny but i like vividly remember wanting madam glam polishes so it's a full circle moment for me to be working with them in this video and i'm really hoping that this partnership does go a long way so i'm excited for more so y'all i did not do a fully detailed um gel x application in this video um, I did start out with this peel off base and I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Um, so if you if y'all wanted me to do another video on Gelix application, I will because there are some things that I've picked up recently that I would like to share. This channel is going to be all about helping people and showing people how to do their own nails. So I'm going to give you all the details, all the juice, all the tea on what I know. So this peel off base coat is very thick. Um, I think that's what made it kind of difficult for me to apply the tips and you'll see what I mean. But the thickness is not necessarily a bad thing. I actually like that a lot about it. Um, it made it a lot easier to remove these. I didn't get a clip of that in the end, but just know that they did pop right off after I put that cuticle oil on. And I just want to add that the peel off base coat and the extend gel are both from the same brand. You see my thumb flat, flat, index finger. It's perfect for someone with a flatter nail bed. It like the consistency of it is like a nail polish, honestly. Like 
Now we're on to the look. For this look, I had a couple different inspo. I'll try to find those pics again and insert them in the video. But honestly, the sole purpose of this was just for me to showcase the products and the versatility of them and as well as the colors and give you some ideas of what to do for fall nail inspo looks. Y'all, I was so shocked at how clear this came out. You know how like a lot of jelly polishes come out with that streaky look to it? These didn't do that at all and I was so impressed. I hated how wide this French came out. But it was fine because it's like like i said i was literally not doing this for it to be perfect or anything i just wanted to show y'all the colors and the versatility now this is not one of their products but i wanted this look so i'm using this rhinestone glue to create that raindrop aka wet look underneath the fringe now i probably could have just used the top coat or the base coat to do this but i knew that i would have to move a lot faster and with my hand flipped over like this i just knew that it was not going to come out right so i wanted to use something a bit thicker all right y'all so for this look i am trying to create a marble blooming look to this nail um so what i'm doing here is i'm using the mccart base coat and i'm not going to cure it at all and of course if you look closely here you can see it expanding slightly so i think due to me adding in the pigment it kind of slowed down the blooming a little bit so i'm going in and helping it along the way by adding in a little bit more blooming not in any particular form or fashion it's kind of just going through and swiggling around a little bit to help it bloom a little further but i still wasn't satisfied with that so i'm going to go in and touch it up a little bit with a little bit more cotton tail So lately I've become a silver girl so I've been wanting to incorporate more silver details to my sets. so for this now i wanted to try something a little different i've never done anything like this before so try i'm trying to do a 3d crystal or stone 
on the nail um i will try to find a pick like i said before in insert it here so you can see what look i was going for but in the next few clips i'm going to be very transparent about how it worked for me and what i did to achieve the look that i was going for now i knew it wasn't going to show up but i wanted to try anyway because i really wasn't 100 percent sure so what i did next you'll see i i knew i should have done this in the first place but i wanted to try and see just in case it did work So as you guys see, it did not show up at all because the base is already black. So I wiped it off and we're going to start off with a base of cotton tail. y'all i really hope y'all see the vision because i did not like the way this came out although i feel like it was a good result for my very first time trying it so for the ring finger i knew that i wanted some soft white but i didn't want it to be white i wanted off white so what i'm doing here is i'm mixing together i believe this was the base coat and um cotton tail and i'm trying to get that perfect look and here you can see that it was the right look that I was looking for. And I went in with, I believe, two coats. And this is also another good example of the versatility of different products. It's like I didn't have it, so I just made it. So in order to showcase the products, I wanted to use mostly, if not just all, the Madame Glam products to do different designs. So with this nail, I took the top coat, made a 3D design on top of the nail, and I cured it. And now I'm going in with caffeinated on top of that. I feel as though the jelly polish kind of looked a little cleaner around the edges of the 3D design, but it's fine. It still showed up the way I wanted it to. And that is the finished product. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, these swatches, just this video all in all. And I really appreciate all of you being here, subscribing, commenting, and just watching. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and I hope you come back for more videos. My sole purpose of this video was literally just to show you guys that there are different ways to use your everyday products to swatch and test these polishes and to give you guys some ideas of what to do different with your nails this fall. Again, I want to thank you all so much for being here and supporting me.